Hey, it's djohnny346 here. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up these two Shining Fates um, Pokey Tins. Like these mini tins, I think they're called. Um, I was super lucky. I, I found this at a Target right after they had restocked them. Got the only Reshiram cover since Black and White is probably one of my favorites. And I got the Kyogre since Groudon, Groudon and Rayquaza are some of my favorite legendaries as well. We're going to open these up. I believe they have two packs, both Shining Fates inside. Open up both, the, uh, open up all four of them in one, in one video. I'm not going to separate them off into two videos or anything. And then we'll see what we can get out of them. I haven't opened up Shining Fates in a while, so I was excited when I saw these. Sadly, these were, are, these were the only Shining Fates I could find. The only other restocked stuff I had seen was a... Um, some Vivid Voltage has been restarting to get restocked, it looks like. And then Chilling Rain, of course. Maybe a little bit of Battle Styles, but nothing crazy. Also, a couple of those Dub Wool boxes I have opened up. Champion's Pat, but Shining Face is definitely one I'm more interested in. We got a really cool looking Entei token. Nothing crazy, just a flat silver design on it. Red one would have looked a little bit nicer. We got a Reshiram card. Surprisingly, this is the first time I've opened up one of these mini tins, so I have no idea what to expect. Got a Reshiram on this side uh, with that same artwork. Yep. Put that off to the side as well. So inside I'm seeing a two two tins or two packs, not two tins. I'll open up both of them and then I'll go through the packs. So this is the second one. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if the token inside can be different or not. If it's always going to be an Entei, but we'll see. But I'm guessing, like, depending on what depending on what the cover Pokemon is, it's probably going to be a card based off of that Pokemon. So, which I'm more than, I'm more than likely correct on that. Yeah. So it looks like another Entei token, nothing crazy. And then we get the Kyogre one now. I don't know if these are worth keeping, but eh, they're not bad. A little corner damage and stuff on them, but what do you expect? They're just kind of loosely put in there. We got a Shining Fates and a Shining Fates. So it looks like, let me see, I'm going to put it like how it was made. All right. So I'm seeing, so there's, there was one Charizard one in each pack design wise. And then there's a Dragapult and a Toxtricity one. So mm, I think I'll go, I'll go Toxtricity, Dragapult, and then this left Charizard that. So it's just kind of back and forth between both of the tins. Just to kind of see which tin ends up being the better one. A lot of dust coming out of this tin too. Alright, so we'll start off with the uh, Toxtricity. The, see what we can get. Hoping for anything out of the Shiny Vault. Obviously the Charizard is... I have not pulled a Charizard out of a pack in years. Uh, I was just thinking about this yesterday. There you guys go for the code card. Uh, I was thinking about this yesterday. The last time I had pulled... The last time I've pulled a chart, like a legitimate Charizard out of a pack, 2007 maybe, 2008, it was a Secret Wonders Charizard. Um, Lightning Energy, Ball Guy, Cramorant, Dwacky, Rowlet, Choodle, Morpico, Coughing, Gossiflor, and a Reverse Hollow Dartrix. Nothing crazy, uncommon. Last card is a Boss's Orders. Hmm. Is that... No, not holographic. All right. All right. Hopefully that's the uh, worst of the packs. Dragapult. This one is out of the Reshiram tin. So the first one was the Kyogre... It was the start of the Kyogre tin. This is the start of the Reshiram tin. <clears throat> All right. Let's slide this out. All right. Code card for you guys. For to the front. Alright, cool. Darkness Energy. Ball Guy. Tropius. Cramorant. Choodle. Nicket. Grookey. Yanma. Morpico. And a Cufint. Reverse Hollow Common. Last card is a Cinderace V. Standard holographic. Alright, not a not a bad card. I believe I've pulled one of these already. I think it was one of the first one of the first cards I had pulled out of a um Shining Fate set. So nothing crazy. <clears throat> nothing crazy, but I already had one of those. I'll put that kinda here or something. 
So now we'll go to this Charizard, that's the Kyogre tin. And then we'll go to the, what do you call it? That last Charizard one from the Reshi Ram tin. If that second pack has something good, then that Reshi Ram tin was a really good get overall for getting into uh, two Ultra Rares. So, so far, nothing out of the Shiny Volt, which sucks. It kind of sucks how the Shiny Volt has like three times as much cards or something like that. Shiny Volt has a lot of cards in it. Yeah, Shiny Vault has a lot of cards in it, but it sucks that it can only take the place of the Reverse Hollow slot. So, while the others, just the regular Shining Sh Shining Fates, like 75, 72 card set, can take the place of all the cards in the set. So, Water Energy, Eldegoss, Cramorant, Ball Guy, Rowlet, Trapinch, Snom, Grookey, Spinarak, Gym Trainer, Reverse Hollow, Uncommon, and a Zarud, or Zarude. I'm not sure how you pronounce them. So, that Kyogre Tin, whew. So those, the two packs of the Kyogre Tin are terrible, if I'm being honest. Absolutely nothing good out of that. Not even, like, nothing worth redeeming at all. I kind of regret buying that one. But here's the last pack from the Reshi Ram Tin. Hopefully it's something good, I mean... I kind of picked it up based off of, you know, I, I like Reshi Ram, so. The other ones were, there was like two Manaphy ones. There was a, well, what else was there? There was like two Zarude ones that I saw, or Zarud, or however it's pronounced. Last pack, Gra Leaf Energy, or Grass Energy. Ball Guy, Cramorant, Dwacky, Horsey, Cacnea, Nicket, Shinx, Rowlet, and there we go. All right, nice. Finished it off with a Bunnelby, and then it looks like just the back is just going to be a standard Manaphy, non hollow. All right, and then so we just got a Bunnelby shiny with that little shiny star at the bottom. You can kind of see that. You can feel the grooves on the actual artwork in the square. So, all right, that's actually all right. So, it looks like I can say that the Reshi Ram pack, the Reshi Ram tin, was, wasn't terrible. Got a got something out of the shiny uh, shiny vault. So as you can see, so like Cinderace is part of the main Shining Fate set. That's why if you look at the bottom left, only seventy two cards. While this one's part of the shiny vault set, and that one is a hundred and twenty two cards out of SP, which stands for shiny vault. So you got a hundred and twenty two cards that can only be in the reverse hollow spot of a pack. While you got seventy two cards that take up the other what is it eight nine ten cards in the pack. So overall, you know, two cards two rabbit cards ironically that are worth picking up and the other tin nothing that great thanks for watching